So we are responsible for the thinking, the feeling life as well. And very important is the will. How do we lead these young people who have been through all this turmoil away from themselves and into the world? We want to help encourage them to become citizens of the world who, rather than acting out of self-interest, perhaps, act for the greater good of mankind. How do we do that? Every single human being has ideals that they find in the world. And one can ask, where do these ideals come from? Some seem to be with you your whole life. They are perhaps some of those things which you are passionate about and drive you through life or motivate you. The search for the good, the search for the beautiful, or whatever it is. And on the other hand, certain ideals seem to be a result of the culture we live in. That's why it's very important how we bring up our children at home. If they're surrounded by cynicism, that could color them, and will do, most likely. And so it's very important for us that we allow these ideals to be strengthened in high school. Never to say, oh, I was like that once, I thought that once. That's just a phase. You'll grow out of that. Be realistic. You'll learn in life. That is, that is something that will possibly destroy that ideal. And our task should be to help those ideals become so strong that they cannot be taken away from that person as they go through life, so that you strive, even in the face of all the difficulties, all the things that are telling you that perhaps these ideals are unattainable, the very thing you know in your heart, that's what we should be striving for as human beings. We need our young people to go into the world and with those ideals, every high schooler should have the feeling at the end when they graduate, I can change the world. Or, if not that, at least, I want to change the world. When I see injustices, I want to do something about it. And not to say, well, I can't do anything about that. The problems are too enormous. And therefore, I'm not even going to try. And given that, one becomes complacent, or whatever one has to do. Now, in conclusion, what I would like to say is, I know it's difficult working with adolescents. It's frustrating. One also knows the joys one gets from the freshness, the naivety, and the wisdom you find in young people. And although we may at times feel they are the most, this is the most frustrating experience being with them, why don't they listen to me? Well, in some ways, they cannot listen to you because they have to discover who they are in order to get where they need to be which is actually free of all of us to be their own person later in life. And I know from my many years of experience, the Waldorf School really offers a chance, and for me as a teacher, to help those young people navigate their way through these truly stormy waters, the stormy waters of adolescence. Thank you very much.